guys, welcome back to another episode of Burn Butter Vids YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to build this slice of pie. I'm not going to be showing you how to build this plate, though, because that's not what I'm focusing on. It's this pie, because tomorrow is my birthday, or actually for you guys, this video comes out tomorrow, which is today, which is yesterday. Day. Okay, so this video is coming out um, on my tomorrow, so when you guys are watching this, it's my birthday. So, anyways, I want to make a little piece of pie for myself so I can eat it all up. There's also a cool secret with this piece of pie, that there's actually some space inside of the pie, so you can hide some stuff in the pie, which is kind of cool. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, for this build, you are going to need the following. 12 of these brown 1 by 3 by 1 wedges, 6 lava wood 1 by 3 by 1 wedges, 6 cherry wood 1 by 3 by 1 wood wedges, then two small floors with the same brown wood you used for the wedges, four tiny floors of brown wood, two tiny floors of lava wood, one tiny floor of cherry wood, two one by one by one wedges of brown wood, two short smooth walls, and a short smooth wall the same as a floor, so you can use either one, three one by one wedges out of brown wood, one smooth wall stub, or um, it's another blueprint, a short smooth wall, they're the same thing, and then one post. Now let's get into the tutorial. So to start you're going to grab a one by three by one wedge, and you are going to place it um, on top of any surface you're building on. So like, I recommend like a plate. So they're really simple to make, just make a circle. But you're gonna put one one by three by one wedge facing like that. And then another one by one by three wedge facing like that. Then another one by three by one wedge, like that. And then another one, like that. And then you're gonna copy on this side to this side, just like so. From there, you're going to take your floor and place it like that. So right in the groove there, it should fit in nicely. Then you're going to take your smooth wall stub and place it on top of that floor at the edge there so that it kind of goes up like that. Next, you're going to take one small floor, put it on the bottom like that. Then two tiny floors in the little two gap here. So one and two, just like that. And now you're going to want to take your lava wood one by three wedges or one by three by one wedges and you're going to want to place them in a random order. So um, like that maybe and mix them in with your cherry woods, but place them all along the outside in the same orientation as you just placed the other one by one by three wedges. And once you've made one layer, you're just going to make another random layer. So just like that, as you see, I've got a completely random pattern of the two red woods. But anyways, what you're going to do next is take your one by three by one wedges that are brown wood and paste them or place them on top of your layer of randomized wood. Once you have placed your layer of brown wood wedges, you're going to want to take your short smooth wall or your floor and put it right 
in the top so it fits in just like that. Now, if you're going to hide items in here, you should put them in now before you seal off the top with a small floor. So let me just orientate that. And then two tiny floors. So a good trick is just to slide them in, as I like to say. So up and then down. And it gets them right on in there. Anyways, next you are going to want to take a one by one wedge. And you're going to want to turn it so that... Oops. You're going to want to turn it so that it is facing like that, and you're gonna wanna place it right there in that crack. And do the same on the other side with another one by one wedge. So turn it and place it right in the crack. Then take your post and place it right there. Take your another one by one wedge, put it flat just like that in front of the post. And then lastly, take your one by one by one wedges. Oops. Don't, don't do that. Instead, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to face them facing towards the post. So one and two. And then last but not least, you will add these little, little um, splash that fell out of the pie for some reason. So just like that, and just like that, you have finished your pie. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you out. I will not be uploading this weekend since I am going away for my birthday. So video on that probably on Monday or Tuesday. This is going to be it for me. Goodbye.